With the release of the new Resolve 18 beta, Blackmagic Design has seemed to have taken one step forward and two steps back with their development of the adjustment clip feature. It was released in an earlier version of Resolve, but there's had a flaw ever since the beginning. And even with this new release, they haven't really fixed it. And I'll demonstrate the flaw first here. So if you drag the adjustment clip to the timeline, now if you switch, it's supposed to be six, I have it set so it's six seconds long. If I switch to the Fusion tab, you'll see that the frame count is wrong. It starts at 108,000 and then goes to 108,179. So that, that causes all kinds of issues. So there is a workaround that if you take that adjustment clip now and drag it to your media pool, and then delete the one on the timeline, and then drag it down from the media pool. Now, if you switch to the Fusion tab, it's operating correctly. It's starting at zero and going 179. And if you change the length of it on the edit page and switch back to Fusion, it works correctly. And then also, if you now go over to the color page, you'll see that you're, you'll be able to do keyframes, and this is working correctly for your, uh, for your color page effects. Go back to the edit page here. But now, at first glance, it looks like in the new version they have to fix. Because if you go to the 18 beta here, and drag an adjustment clip to the timeline, and switch to the Fusion tab, it looks correct. Uh, it was a five, now, in this, I have it set for five second long clips. So it's going from zero to 149. So that looks correct. So it looks like, oh, I've got that fixed finally. Now, if you switch to the color tab, you can see you don't have the playhead here, and there's no way to do any kind of keyframes because I don't know why, because they messed it up. Fusion still looks right, so they're like, oh, I'll go back to the old way of dragging it to the media pool. Hit Control X, get rid of it, drag the adjustment clip back down. Now, if you switch to Fusion, it's kind of similar, but it's sort of 108. It's actually start at negative. So it goes from negative 108,000 to negative 107,851. So that's messed up. And then if you go to color, now you see your playhead here and you can do keyframes. But now it's not usable in Fusion or on the edit page. So again, they took one step forward that when you first drag an adjustment clip on, if all you care about is fusion effects and uh, say doing uh, transforms and other things in the inspector of the edit page, and it's probably going to be fine, but it's really not still not working correctly. So hopefully before they actually release the final version of Resolve 18, I uh, get out gets out of beta. Hopefully they'll have this issue fixed. Well, so I hope you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.